Hi! So I know it's been a while. Um, I lagged on doing this video for like forever. Um, this is my December, January, and kind of February favorites. Um, nothing's really changed. I guess that's kind of why I didn't want to do a December favorites because I just kind of felt like a lot of it was redundant. Um, same thing with January, but I guess this is like my January, my December, January-ish favorites, give or take. So I have a mix of everything. Um, I would say hair stuff, makeup, a lot. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, for makeup, I want to start with my favorite lip products of the moment. Okay, first are these chapsticks. And these are the Moisture Plus ones from Carmix. I only have one. I don't have like the tinted ones or whatever. In my area, they're kind of hard to find. So I just have the normal one. But I love this. Like... I'm really picky about my chapstick because I like the kind of chapstick that's kind of um, glossy, <laughs> but some glossy like chapsticks kind of, they wear off really fast, just like a lip gloss. So I don't like the sticky feeling. I like that natural, you know, like smoothness on your lips. I will thank Samage, my baby Sam, for this because you are a savior. Ever since you mentioned this, I have, I probably bought a couple of backups, I believe. I don't know where they are. But they're somewhere. <laughs> like, I always buy a couple of chapsticks and keep them everywhere. One in my car, purse, etc, etc. So, this one, living by this. Holy grail chapstick at the moment. Mm -hmm. Lipsticks, I have three favorites. Um, the first one, I've mentioned this a long time ago before. This is Nude Velvet from Revlon. I love this shade. It's discontinued, so unfortunately, I don't know where you can find it. Um... Lena put me on game on this before, but I believe she got it from a subby, and then my girl Ellen sent it to me, and then um, another subby sent me two backups. Thank you, all of you, for sending me this. Like, I, I effing love you for this. Like, oh, one of my favorite nude lipsticks ever. Like, I have really rosy lips, so I can't wear lipsticks, like nude lipsticks that are like extremely nude, like creme de nude, like that's a little too nude. So, I really, really love this. Um, my favorite combination with this is NYX's Coffee Lip Liner. Another favorite of mine. I wear this with damn near everything. Everything. Like, I got this in a swap from my girl, uh, Rebecca. <clears throat> this is how it looks. Since I have rosy lips, it's kind of like... I guess like a natural lip liner for me, kind of. Like, it just blends really nice. And then this is Nude Velvet right next to it and see the thing I like about nude velvet is because it's a cream you don't really have to put a lip gloss over it but I like putting a lip gloss over it and this is the one I like and this is nude luster this one is permanent I believe and they're super lustrous um, lip glosses I love this one I'm wearing it right now so you can wear it by itself or on something else a subby had sent this to me as well when she sent me the backups of the nude velvet they just work, like, this combination just works amazing. I don't know, it works perfect for, like, an everyday lip. When I'm feeling a little bit more rosy, <clears throat> um, this is what I've been wearing more often. And this is Mauve It Over, also by Revlon. This is a matte lipstick. I can thank Heart for this one. A lot of people talked about this before, but for some reason I never paid attention to it. It's this one right here. Um, I like wearing it matte, but it just gets drying on me. I don't have the kind of lips that'll, that work very well with, um, matte colors, but this color is so amazing. It's weird because it's not really a mauve color to me, but I guess because I wear it with, um, NYX's coffee lip liner together with Mauve It Over, and then I put Bare uh, Minerals, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. Here's our lip gloss and icing. I don't know if you can see that at all because like the name is kind of covered. But this is a shade. This came in a set. I think it was called Beyond Gorgeous. I blogged about it before. But I really love this pink shade. So all these colors, like just they all go together. I don't know what it is. This is icing right here. I don't know. It just works. I don't know what it is. It just works. So these have been my everyday lip colors for like the past, I don't know. Two months, <laughs> I've been using them nonstop. When I go out, I've been wearing a lot of red or pink. As you guys know, that's like my favorite thing to rock is hot pink lips. So if I'm not wearing pink, I'm, I was wearing this red, and this is Russian Red from MAC. 
This is one of their most classic reds in their entire collection, also permanent, so no worries on that. This is a beautiful red shade. No joke. I feel like this can work on a lot of different skin tones. And I wear it with um, burgundy lip liner. You can use almost any other lip liner. I've used it with Brick. I've used it with um, Cherry. <clears throat> but I just like it with burgundy. Because I like wearing a little bit of a darker lip liner when you're wearing red lipstick. Kind of just to find your lip a little bit more. So that's what I like. So these have been my favorite lip colors lately so far. Hands down, loving it. Like works with almost everything I wear. Another makeup combination I've been liking a lot are these two blushes right here. These two in the corner. This one is Max Blunt. A lot of people know this one um, as a more of a contour shade. And then this one is Max Melba. It's one of their prettier peachy shades. Love. Love, 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 love. For some reason, these two together, it's just, I don't know. In the winter, you know, you get a little bit more dull skin. You're not as tan and stuff. So I guess the days that I don't feel like wearing bronzer, I wear these two together. And it just creates a really nice, warm, tan shade on your face. And a lot of people always ask me, oh, what are you wearing on your cheeks? <laughs> and it's it's these two. So it's these two together. I don't really use blunt to contour very often. As you can tell, I don't. I barely made a dent in it. But I use it to contour for other people. <laughs> like when I'm doing makeup on everyone else. <laughs> Last makeup item. This is a gripe. Okay, everything so far has been hypes. This is a gripe for me. And this is um, Coastal Scents Camo Quad. I use medium. I have the other ones for like... I don't know, you know, like when I do weddings or makeup for other people. And they work well. But I don't know. They don't work well for me. I don't know what it is. I mean, this... I usually use these two shades. I usually mix them. A little bit of this one. But I hardly wear the, the white one. I usually only use the white one in my other quads. Like if I'm trying to lighten the colors or whatever like that. But I don't know. There's something about the consistency that I don't really like. Like, I don't... I don't really like creamy concealers underneath my eyes. I prefer more like liquid-ish type consistencies because I feel like it creases faster and doesn't last as long. Um, this works well for like, I don't know, you know, like blemishes and stuff, but the, the finish of it is a little powdery for me, which I think is weird because it's a cream concealer. And for some reason, it just, I don't know, the finish just looks a little bit more powdery. It doesn't blend very well for me. I prefer my MAC Studio Finish Concealer, the one in the pot. I prefer that, prefer that one over this. I prefer my Eve Pearl, um, even my Benefit Boing, um, Maybelline Dream Mousse. Like, I prefer all those other ones over this one. I don't know. For some reason, I just don't like the finish. And I, it doesn't last very long for me. So, I don't know. It's a holy grail for a lot of other people. But for some reason, just not for me. But it works well when I do makeup on everyone else. Just not for me, I guess. I don't know if it's my skin type or what. But it doesn't work very well for me. Kind of sucks. I want to talk about this next gripe before I move on to the hair. You guys have seen this before, obviously. I mentioned this in my Hypes and Gripes once before, that I did like these. I don't like them anymore. <laughs> um, they used to work amazing for me. Like, they used to take off all my makeup. If, you know, I don't wear that much makeup on a daily basis, but they it used to just work amazing. It used to take off all my makeup, even my hard to remove makeup, everything. But after a while, I don't know if it's just my skin type or what, or if any of you guys have experienced this, but it gets really itchy, like itchy, like it's gotten so itchy that like my eyelids get dry, like the dry patchy kind of dry and it's not that it's disgusting or anything but it's just really unnerving to me because you know, y'all know I hella take care of my skin, alright, I work hard, you know, <laughs> to upkeep my skin because my skin's so freaking sensitive to everything, obviously, you know, like this is a holy grail for so many other people and I know that it's an amazing product, that's why it pisses me off. So, now I've been using it for other people. So, like, you know, when I do makeup, you know, makeup gigs and whatnot, I, I use it to help, you know, clean up or freshen the face. Um, I'll probably only use it just on my face, especially on the days that I don't wear makeup at all because there are days that I don't, you know, that I just go without wearing makeup or whatever. Or, like, um, you know, when I come out of the gym, I refresh my face a little bit, but I do not touch my eyelids with them anymore. So, I try not to use them anymore if I'm, you know, wearing makeup that day. I just, I went back to my Neutrogena wipes. I just, they're my holy grail. I love them. Now I remember why. Hair stuff. What I'm loving so far. Um, this is the Sebastian Shaper Fierce hairspray. 
Um, if you guys don't know, Sebastian Shaper hairsprays in general are really, really good. I used to use the white one. The white one has like all these S's, brown, like brown, tan colored S's all over it. I do still have it. I just don't use it as much as this one anymore. That one used to be like my holy grail for like when I did weddings, proms, cotillions. Whenever I did hair, like an updo or something, that was like holy grail for me. But I found this one. Um, it's pretty much the same, but it's like a better formula of it. So if you guys like the Sebastian Shaper hairsprays, you'll really like their um, their black bottles. They're really good. There's another one. I think it's like Zero Gravity or something like that. But I like this one a lot. And it doesn't smell very bad. I actually kind of like it. I'm um, another hairspray I've been loving. I don't know if you want to consider this a hairspray. Uh, this little amazing bottle. Um, this is kind of a both hype and gripe for me. I love it, but I hate it at the same time. So what I can say that I do love about it is it works miracles. Um, this is the back comb in a bottle. This is my big and sexy hair. Big, sexy hair. Whatever. <clears throat> I stopped using their normal hairspray. Their, um, I think it's called Spray and Play Harder or something like that, spray and, spray and play or whatever, the volumizing one that everybody uses. I do love it. I just hate the finish of it. Like, I hate that... I like hair that you can touch. You know what I mean? Like, even though you have product in it, I like hair that you can still touch and it feels natural. It doesn't feel like you have all this crap in it. That's how I like my hair. So when I curl my hair, like, you know, curl, curl, like bombshell curls, I don't like the feeling of touching your hair and it feels crispy or dry or, you know... It's not healthy like I don't like that I like the more shiny bombshell curls where it's like fluffy and it looks healthy and it's shiny and all that good stuff so there's something about these big sexy hairsprays that kind of make your hair not so shiny anymore like I don't know what it is I I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about where you kind of touch it and it's like you really feel like there is hairspray in your hair I mean it holds amazing it works amazing. It works amazing. Like literally, it really is back comb in a bottle. Like I, you know, when I tease my hair, I spray it and it just, it just holds. And it holds all night. So anytime I do want to tease my hair, if I want to do the snooky poof, or um, if I just want to tease the back after like curling my hair or just teasing it with my hair straight, whatever it is, it works amazing it works amazing i haven't found a hairspray that works as good as this when it comes to teasing my hair but see that's the problem i love it but i hate it because i hate the finish of it so what i usually do is i would use this and then i would probably finish off with this one because it's just a little bit more touch touchable i guess you could say so i combine it with other hairsprays so I'll, i just use this to kind of tease you know underneath and then i'll use a finisher on top to kind of make it look a little bit more natural and less I don't know how to describe it, like less hair nest looking, you know what I mean? Like, you know, sometimes girls can tease their hair and it looks like a freaking hair nest just sitting there. <laughs> so I use another hairspray to kind of smooth it another all out. Another thing I've been loving, speaking of ugh, hair rollers, are my Babyliss um, hair setter, hair setter set, hair rollers, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's another one that looks like this, like it, it holds like this. I think... That one is, um, it has a different ion technology or something in it, but this one is the one um, I got for Christmas. Panda gave it to me for Christmas. I love this thing. Like, there's first of all, there's so many choices. Like, there's one, two, three, four sizes, and there's like eight of each. Yeah, eight of each except for these little green ones. There's only six of these green ones, but I don't really use those anyway. Um, I like that you can hold it like this. It's kind of like a, like a boomba. You know what I'm saying? Um, they heat up really fast. Like seriously, you turn on the switch, they're they're hot in like five minutes, probably less than that. Um, they they don't get super hot. Like some hot rollers, they get so hot that you can barely hold them. These aren't like that, which is weird because they don't have that velour velvet, you know, padding on it like most other hot rollers do. But I like it because the ceramic and the ion technology and all that good stuff, it's just so much better for your hair. And on top of that, it helps my hair look a lot more shiny. So if you love curling your hair and you're just kind of tired of using a curling iron, these work wonders. Um, another hair product I am loving is Joico's K-Pack Reconstructor. I've used this in the past. Um, I just I started exploring other things. The only other reconstructor I like is Redken's um, Extreme Force. It's a blue bottle, taller than this. Um, but I always come back to this one. I don't know what it is, but it works really well. Like Joico for my hair is like heaven. So, I don't know, it works, I believe in using a reconstructor once a week, especially if you do a lot of, you know, heat, 
abuse <laughs> to your hair. Um, if you like to curl your hair a lot or straighten it a lot, um, if your hair is long, I just really truly believe in using a reconstructor. It helps keep your hair healthy, it restores vitamins, it, you know, keeps it from breaking. Um, I don't know, there's just something about reconstructors that I like better than hair masks or leave-in conditioners. I just feel like it's just so much better. And this, paired with this wonderful thing, Argan Oil. Um, if you guys recognize this bottle at all, oh! <laughs> JK. <laughs> if you guys recognize this bottle at all, this is the one from um, Sally's. Uh, it's the brand One and Only. Yeah, um, it's about 10 bucks. I bought it for less because it was on sale. So it's about $9.99, give or take. But I bought mine for like 6 bucks. It was on sale. And I guess they were having a sale on all their argan oil products. There's so many brands of argan oil and Moroccan oil out there. But I just wanted to try it first, you know, before really deciding that I really liked it or investing in, a, you know, a better brand. Um, there's some that are about maybe... I don't know 30 bucks 40 bucks maybe even 60 for like this size bottle but this works amazing out of all the hair products that i have ever tried in my life i can honestly say this is one that i cannot live without now i've seriously been using this if you can see i've only it's only like right here and i've honestly been using this for months like maybe about three months now give or take and i haven't cut my hair for hell long like I mean, you guys know that my cousin's my hairstylist. She does my hair. Um, she even asked me, like, dude, I haven't cut your hair in hell long. What the hell? But honestly, no joke. My hair has no split ends. None whatsoever. It's not even dry. It's not, like, crispy looking where it's not, like, unhealthy or anything. Like, there's no split ends. I seriously haven't cut my hair for more than three months. And you can hardly tell. Like, for real. If anything, you can just tell because my layers grew out. But... Other than that, it looks so healthy. And this is the Dove Cream Oil Shea Butter formula. They have other formulas, but I just really like anything with shea butter, cocoa butter, anything like that. I've never tried Dove Lotion before. I love their soaps, their body washes, um, the shampoo. I used to use their mousse. I love it all. It makes my hair so touchable, healthy. Um, soap is amazing. I used to even wash my face with it. <laughs> um, but this lotion has been doing wonders for my skin in the winter. Like my skin, I have that, I don't know if you guys know this, but if, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you guys know I have a skin condition called keratosis pilaris. So my skin gets kind of itchy a little bit, I guess you could say. And to keep me from doing that, I try to keep my skin like super moisturized. And it helps because I have to exfoliate like at least, I don't know, like twice a week give or take two three times a week just to keep it smooth and to um you know shed off like dead skin cells and whatnot so a really thick moisturizer really really helps and i like the fact that it's not thick like a cream but it's not thin like a lotion either it's like right in between it's perfect so i it's become one of my favorites simply because it's affordable it comes in a really big bottle i've been using it for about two months now and i've barely made a dent in it um, it's one of those lotions that it, it spreads well, you know what I mean? Like you can cover a big area, like you can probably like one big pump will cover your whole entire like left leg or something like that. It's, it just lasts and then it smells good. It smells like that nice sweet cocoa butter smell. This necklace from my girl Jenny, uh, let me show you the box. Came in this box from Pink Box Jewelry. I'll be doing a review on her jewelry soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, this is a necklace. I always keep it in the thing because it's just so, like, delicate to me. Um, I try not to wear nice jewelry like this all the time because I have a tendency to, like, something just always happens to it. <laughs> um, but I really love this necklace. Really, really love. I believe this one is called Mesmerize. I love this one. I don't know. I've been wearing it a lot, especially to work. I know that's like kind of not in inappropriate or anything, but it's just a little bit too. I really love this. It just sparkles. You know what I mean? Like you can just see it. I don't know. It's just so pretty. Like it really catches the light. Anyway, um, I use it with a lot of my work clothes because it's just like that little pop of, you know, pretty, you know, just randomly. I like necklaces that have this kind of lock because it's a lot easier for me to lock. I hate the ones where it's like the little circle and then you got to get this little round thing into like that little slit. Yeah, I hate that. So I really like that it has like this kind of lock. Um, I like that the necklace is nice and dainty. It's simple. It's not super blanging, but it's just just enough to like, you know, really show off, 
you know, the necklace itself. So I'm really loving this a lot. I get a lot, a lot, a lot of compliments on this. I think it's mostly because the color is so pretty. A lot of people notice it. You know, it pops out. I wear a lot of black <laughs> to work, like black and, you know, grays and plum colors. And it just stands out. A lot of people tell me how pretty it is. So love it. Thank you, Jenny. And again, I'll do a review on this pretty soon. Okay, so yeah. So that was like pretty much my winter favorites.